And welcome back to another Steam Deck video. I hope you've all been doing well. In this video, we're going to do a quick guide on how to install the software needed to customize your Steam Deck by applying some different themes and different mods to really dig down deep and pretty it up and make it look personalized and customized. But before digging into that, I want to take a few moments here to kind of talk a little bit about the deck and what we've done so far. Up to this point, we have swapped out the both joysticks. Uh, we have swapped out the left bumper button and we have cloned the SSD, changed the SSD, or I should say upgraded the SSD. And we also have installed Windows, uninstalled Windows, reinstalled SteamOS. So we have done quite a bit with the Steam Deck. And I've taken a little bit of time to sort of customize the deck itself. Uh, the backside, I've actually replaced the back plate because well, I've taken this thing apart so many times now that it scratched it up and I, and I went ahead and just dropped 20 bucks and I fixed it and picked up a new one. And I put the obligatory Linux sticker on the back, metal, I think it's $7 on Amazon. Uh, the skin up front, I swapped out the original red grips that I had on there before. The red buttons with, uh, with a D brand skin, this is the Ocean Breeze, I think it's $29 on the website. Uh, a couple of joystick covers. And these are JSOC um, skin uh, wrap stickers, sticker wraps I should say. And I took an X-Acto knife and kind of trimmed along the edge because it did wrap around initially, but I don't know. I like it. I like the way it looks, I like the way it feels by removing that back part and just keeping the front portion of it. So I think it looks pretty good. The skin itself isn't perfect, but then again, I'm not really good at that sort of thing. But anyway, so this is still the LCD. I have not upgraded to the OLED yet, the OLED. Uh, quite frankly, I'm still sort of, a, sort of attached to my LCD. I've taken this thing apart so many times customized it, upgraded it, worked on it, that just not ready to get rid of it yet. And on top of that, my GPU um, running an AM4, it's got a 5600G in it, and I decided to take the money that I would have spent on an, o on an OLED and went ahead and bought a 5950X. So I'll be, uh, I'll be upgrading my CPU on my main rig uh, probably this weekend. But anyway, so enough of that. Uh, the video, we're gonna cover the installation of Deki Loader and CSS Loader. I'm gonna show you um, how to install and activate your themes and a couple of mods so you can customize your deck UI. Now, I'm gonna to try to connect this to my Elgato, which historically doesn't go very well. The Elgato doesn't like to play nice with the deck for some reason. And if I'm successful, it'll make it much easier for you to follow along. All right, so with that out of the way, let's jump into it. All right, so it seems the Elgato did wanna cooperate this time, so I'm in luck. Anyway, so we are uh, in our game mode, and the first thing we want to do is switch over to desktop mode. So click on the Steam icon, or the Steam button, if you're actually using your deck and not a mouse and keyboard like I am. We'll go down to power, and switch to desktop. All right, so the first thing we want to do is open up a web browser. I'm using Google Chrome. You can use whatever browser you see fit. And in our search, we're going to type in Decky Loader. You can see I've already searched for it. And it should be the first option. It'll say Steam Deck Homebrew forward slash Decky dash loader. And it's a GitHub site location. And go ahead and scroll down a little ways until you see Decky Loader download. Uh, click on the download option. And once it's finished, it's a very small file, only 466 bits, it looks like. Go ahead and close this out and open up your downloads folder, which we're already there. And there's Decky Loader. So double click on it. Continue. And it wants our password. And we want the release, not the pre-release, the actual release, the stable version. Hit OK. And we are finished. So now we can go back into desktop mode to finish the rest of our setup and configuration. All right, now that we're back in game mode, let's go down to our Steam menu. And the first thing we want to do is go to settings. We want to go to system and double check and make sure that 
the Steam Update channel is set to stable. If it's not, if you have it set to beta or preview, set it to stable and then reboot your Steam Deck. All right, so we can go back to our home screen. And then go to your quick menu. And for those that don't know, that's the three dot button on the right hand side of your front of your deck. And we should see an icon down here, a newly installed um, application, Decky. So we want to go to the little box up here. That's the store. Open that up. And the first thing we need to install is CSS Loader. So just type in CSS. I'm using a keyboard, so you can use your touchscreen if you need. And there it is. Go ahead and install that. And wait for it to finish. Very quick. Okay, now CSS Loader is installed. Let's go to the, let's click on it, open it up. Now go to the uh, download icon that's flashing at the very top. Click on that and that'll give us access to our themes. Now you can sort this by however you like. Um, I'm gonna set mine, it's already set to the most stars. You can change it to alphabetical, last updated, first updated, most download, least download. You can check out most download and see what's on that. Hit refresh. And uh, so we have a lot of themes here to go through. I'm just gonna grab one or two, kind of show you what uh, how it works. Anything catch my eye here? Kind of like the Phantom. I think I'll grab the Phantom theme. It's based on Persona. And we'll install that. Then go back, hit the B button. And what else do we have here? Full screen home. Switch like home, clean, uh, round, that's what I want. So this will give us kind of rounded edges to our game icons. Go ahead and install this real quick. And hit the back button. And anything else that looks interesting, let's see. That's kind of interesting. Stylish footer. I'm going to install that. And I think that'll do. So let's go back to our home. And let's go back to our quick settings. Okay, we're already on CS Loader, so just hit refresh and it should display our themes, and it does. So let's try. Uh, Try stylish footer first and see how that looks. We'll activate it, hit refresh, and it should activate. Don't really see much, don't really see much of a difference. Uh, let's try. Oh, stylish footer. My bad. That's not really a theme. That's um. Okay, never mind. Let's go to. Uh, let's try phantom. Fresh. Let's try to turn on the rounded mod or the round mod. Fresh again. Looks pretty good. Okay, so now we have everything installed. We can kind of play around a little bit and just sort of see how everything looks. So we'll take a quick look at the library. That looks pretty good. Basically, changing all the icons of our games. Uh, check out installed. Favorites. That looks pretty good. All right, so um, that's going to wrap up the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope it's helped a couple of you out at least. And episode 11 will be coming shortly, next couple of days of our Steam library playthrough. And uh, not much more to say. So I uh, hope you install Decky Loader, CSS Loader, and have uh, have some fun customizing your Steam UI. All right. Uh, until next time, be safe and have a good one.